Gordon Darnell Newby's The Making of the Last Prophet, a reconstruction of the earliest biography of Muhammad, is a meticulous exploration that delves into the life and origins of the Prophet Muhammad. By dissecting the earliest biographical accounts available, Newby reconstructs a vivid portrayal of Muhammad's life, offering readers a deeper understanding of the historical context that shaped his legacy. The book takes readers on a journey through the earliest biographies of Muhammad, examining the sources and methodologies used in constructing these narratives. Newby demonstrates a keen scholarly approach, sifting through layers of historical documentation, piecing together fragments of information, and critically analyzing their authenticity. This methodology enables readers to comprehend the challenges inherent in reconstructing the life of a figure whose existence predates a comprehensive written record. Newby's work significantly contributes to our comprehension of Muhammad's life by addressing the complexities of early biographies. He scrutinizes the socio-political landscape of the time, contextualizing Muhammad's life within the larger framework of the Arabian Peninsula's religious, cultural, and social milieu. By doing so, he paints a comprehensive backdrop against which Muhammad's life unfolded, allowing readers to comprehend the circumstances that influenced his teachings and actions. The book also delves into the intricacies of oral tradition and its impact on the transmission of Muhammad's biography. Newby skillfully navigates through the challenges posed by oral accounts, highlighting the evolution of narratives over time and shedding light on how they were eventually documented. His analysis showcases the evolution of the biographical genre itself, from orally transmitted accounts to the compiled written texts that emerged later. Moreover, Newby's exploration extends beyond mere historical documentation, he critically examines the motives and agendas that might have influenced the portrayal of Muhammad in these early biographies. This critical lens invites readers to question the intentions behind the narratives and to consider the biases or intentions of the biographers, thereby encouraging a more nuanced understanding of the complexities inherent in the historical documentation of Muhammad's life. Throughout the book, Newby maintains a scholarly tone, presenting his findings with a balance of academic rigor and accessibility. He navigates through complex historical material with clarity, making the book suitable for both academic scholars and general readers interested in gaining a deeper understanding of Muhammad's life and the early Islamic period. Newby's work serves as an invaluable resource for scholars seeking a comprehensive understanding of the genesis of Muhammad's biographies. It encourages a critical examination of the sources available and invites readers to engage with the complexities of reconstructing the life of a historical figure surrounded by layers of myth, legend, and historical conjecture. In conclusion, The Making of the Last Prophet, a reconstruction of the earliest biography of Muhammad, stands as a scholarly achievement, shedding light on the multifaceted aspects of reconstructing the life of Muhammad. Newby's meticulous analysis of early biographical sources, coupled with his contextualization within the socio-historical landscape, offers readers a nuanced and comprehensive portrayal of the Prophet's life and the challenges inherent in studying and interpreting historical narratives.